Wow, that's a shocker. It seems like the Scouter will be the next class for us in the West. My money was on the Reaper and many of you seem to believe that either Reaper or Summoner is going to be the next class released. But um, it appears that Machine has won over Man, a man and woman. Um, so congratulations to those of you who were waiting for to play Scouter. Now at least you have something in stone. I hope I didn't read the article yet. In today's video we're going to talk about the roadmap for August and September uh, Lost Ark in the West. And towards the end of the video we're going to discuss the uh, recent class restructuring that has started with some major changes by the way on the Korean PTR servers just a few hours back uh, which obviously will make its way most of it most likely will make its way to the live servers in Korea followed by um, our region as well uh, some interesting changes there so stick around until the end let's uh, quickly begin to read the uh, our roadmap to see <sighs> what we have installed for us. In August, we're getting the Pet Ranch, which is another feature for our stronghold. Maharaka Festival, uh, the leaves from the Marahaka tree in Marahaka Paradise are known to bring good luck. Collect as many as you can during the Mahar Marahaka Marahara. God damn, this is so confusing names. Festival and exchange them for mounts, animal skins and more. In September, the first out of the two updates will include the quality of life changes. Uh, and they say here that this is not all of them, just some of them. Um, social updates, for example, the global chat rooms. This is a nice feature and even nicer than this. Improved cross-server interaction with, with the update being the fact that you can add people from different servers to your friends list so you can better keep track and communicate with them for your groups or your premium etc and also uh, you can visit their strongholds people from strongholds of people from other servers uh, this is uh, these are nice uh, updates two new hairstyles for each starting class uh, Trixion training ground updates I have a video in which I uh, show you this I believe it was in my review of the Aeromancer where we've been to Trixion and it's an improved version of the testing the, th the testing feature in Trixion where you can assign um, gems of the level that you want you can assign tripods to your skills so you can have let's say a full scope of what a build means not with some of the things you're wearing and just some would be customizable like the uh, stats and the engravings now you have more things to add to your character and see how you would feel with uh, this combination or the other uh, um, also settings improvements um, oh and, and then pvp class balance patch and uh, better pvp settings improved guild systems and improved support and settings for controllers Part 2 of September is the thing that most of us are sort of, let's say, waiting for. Uh, the second update in September will be the major content update, including a new advanced class, Legion Raid, and events. So they won't release Kokusei Tone in August, which is really, really interesting. I think that very many people are even now ready for Kokusei Tone, but more will be uh, by that time. I think that even if this update would come in August, like the new Legion Raid Kokusei Tone would come in August, even the people who are now at 1460 or 1465 would sort of be ready by the end of August. So they could have easily released Kokusaiton in August, right? This update will also include some server merges. Oh, I, I, I think I actually... I, I don't know if this, these are just server merges within the same region, which has happened in Lost Ark in the past, or, or are they ready with what they said they're working on for players from regions that are sort of underpopulated like EU West right now, EU West players might uh, use some attention in that sense. I, I don't think it's that. I, I don't think they found a way to merge EU West with EU Center, but who knows, maybe I'm wrong, uh, but um, and maybe this update is that, but maybe it's just a simple server merge because they just literally have too many servers in one region, EU Central, NA West and East, and they maybe just want to group some together so they wouldn't keep so many of them up. Um, yeah, that might be another thing. New advanced class, Machinist, um, okay. Uh, okay, this is nice. Uh, we already know a lot of things about the Machinist. I have a video reviewing the Machinist whenever it first came out to the Korean servers uh, and also gameplay with it. I'm going to link that in the description below uh, if you guys uh, are interested in uh, in, in uh, viewing it. Kakul Seidon Legion Raid. This is going to be so much fun, especially for new players to the game. Uh, unlike uh, Vikas and uh, Valtan, this is a four-man fight with three gates as well. Um, and it comes in only normal difficulty at 1475. But there is a... Did they add the um, uh, rehearsal also? 
1475, normal difficulty, and an easier version, yeah, called uh, Midnight Circus Rehearsal can be entered at item level 1385. Just so you can sort of practice and get some rewards in the process, you can practice the mechanics and you can be ready as you um, grow to 1475 in terms of item level. Uh, new events, new skins, and more. Um, stay tuned to our website for more details, right? This is actually a pretty decent skin, so it's not the worst, it's not the best either. Um, so uh, that's, uh, that's the update. At first glance, it might seem that hey we need to wait two months for something really exciting to come along maybe they could have added uh, Kako Zeton rehearsal and the normal mode in um, in August and just leave the the new class the machinist for the September 28th update um, but if I really think about it first of all this is fantastic for the people who are waiting to play machinist because they have so much time now with a solid confirmation as to when their class is coming and it's it the, the notice that we're getting through this roadmap is so much in advance compared to other classes and other people who have been waiting for other uh, classes to main uh, that they have a lot of time to put mats aside two months of doing daily content on your current characters might that be three four five twelve whatever um, that's quite some materials to know in advance i would really like if future class releases would also get such a bit such a such an advance notice second thing that i wanted to mention is that um if we get for example the most recent um changes to classes the this process of class restructuring that has begun today on the Korean servers. Uh, this is going to be a very exciting update for August, for example, when in fact we could potentially get the new versions of these classes uh, with the new balance patch uh, added um, uh, for our version as well. Let's get into the let's get into the balance uh, changes. I need to open up a new tab here. There we go. Only some of the classes have received changes with today's balance patch on the Korean PTR server. Remember. And not everything here is absolutely guaranteed to make it to the live server. It also depends on player testing. And if there's going to be a riot uh, in South Korea uh, over, over some of these changes, they're not going to make it. But generally speaking, they all make it. And generally speaking, all of this makes it to our Western version as well. At least with the last balance patch, um, they made it to us in a couple of weeks after they made it to their live servers, right? So Berserker, this one received um, a, a, a change, which seems to be a buff to the Berserker's technique um, engraving, which now doesn't uh, have a critical damage increase, but it has just flat out damage. It just increases your damage by up to 32% at the engraving level three. Uh, this is nice. This is going to sort of at least make people that are currently playing Mayhem consider Berserker Zerker's te technique, right? Uh, Warlord, no changes. We're Gucci in the Warlord world. Except, of course, a little bit of range to this skill. Destroyer got some very big changes, especially to the gravity training class engraving, which, by the way, uh, just completely spiked in price, uh, starting with this morning after they released the patch notes. Um, it, it went from 600 gold all the way to uh, 6,000 gold. At some points, it was even 60,000 gold on EU Central. I was streaming while we were looking and laughing about these prices. It's just absolute insanity. Uh, by the way, I'm streaming on Twitch very often, twitch.tv forward slash Saivosan. We never make fun of classes such as Dead Eye Arcan is there. It's a completely non-toxic uh, stream. I definitely invite you to uh, join me there and let's have some fun, right? Uh, a new skill for destroyers as well. Uh, instead of the one-man army gravity release skill, we have this one translated as Earth Wave. Uh, many tripod changes to current gravity release skills, which um, increase your um, um, hypergravity gauge gain uh, so that you can enter the bonk mode more often. Bonk mode, which was also changed, now you can apply your party synergy while in the bonk mode by using the actual bonk, which is super cool because playing gravity training and getting often into the hypergravity, it was just weird. You couldn't do anything. You couldn't counter. You couldn't apply party synergy. So that was added. Super cool. Every third bonk, you also do extra damage. The seismic hammer was also changed, by the way. It uh, does more damage now, which goes well for the rage hammer build as well as it is a skill that is being used in the rage hammer build also with this they also increase the amount of hypergravity gauge gained while um, per core that you use um, when that you consume when using uh, gravity release skills so to get even faster more bonk time uh, right which is super super cool mega fun uh, definitely recommend this build now i can recommend it legitimately because uh, it seems to be uh, sort of uh, um, rose up to uh, a rage hammer kind of popularity we're gonna have to see when we get these changes also how good is it is it 
now gonna become the meta or not. Um, um, uh, Infighter got a, a little bit of a nerf for the uh, uh, shock training, the green skills build. 3.7% um, less damage flat out during PvE. Uh, Soul Fist, uh, Infighter is the scrapper in our version, right? Soul Fist also got a little bit of a, of a nerf, um, reduced the damage of your skills, except your auto attack, your basic attack skill, uh, by 2.8% during PvE uh, content. Lancemaster or Glavier in our release um, got a buff for the red skills. They do now 6.6% more damage. Artillerist has undergone major changes to the way the class is played even. Um, right now we have um, um, the firepower gauge, but after the change, we're going to have a firepower gauge and a bombardment gauge, translated as a bombardment gauge. As far as I understand from this uh, Google translated patch notes, uh, the firepower meter or the firepower gauge that we currently have, we use skills, we get the needle to level 3, and then we have a time buff, a limited time buff, firepower level 3, uh, that runs out and then the needle is reset. Right now, after these changes, the needle does not reset automatically after a limited time. Uh, however, it slowly decays if you're not using skills. So firepower power meter firepower gauge can be kept up uh, basically at level three as far as i understand by using um, uh, skills after the change um, um, the um, uh, bombardment gauge or the barrage gauge however it's going to be translated for us is a different gauge that when that one is filled up to 100 percent you have access uh, to enter the bombardment mode and use bombardment skills obviously the class engravings have been changed to reflect uh, all of this as well the firepower enhancement engraving uh, still gives us 20 percent damage reduction but no longer gives us the crit rate which is one of the reasons um, why i thought that maybe now we have to also have some crit on our accessories just so we can make up for the loss of i don't know 40 percent or 20 percent whatever uh, people had um, uh, just from the firepower enhancement for everything um, and uh, the barrage enhancement engraving is obviously also changed uh, the damage of bombardment skills increased by up to 30 percent for the engraving level 3 and the critical hit rate of bombardment skills only um, has been increased by uh, by 30 percent not just the not the overall crit rate just while in bombardment mode increased the acquisition amount of bombardment um, gauge as well the second gauge that we were discussing by 30 percent uh, and does not enter cooling state a uh, cooling state cooldown state uh, if i'm getting this right i might not uh, in this case uh, in this case uh, the barrage enhancement engraving uh, allows us not to have a cooldown on entering and exiting uh, bombardment mode maybe uh, if 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 i'm wrong i'm gonna pin a comment uh, down below um, uh, if this little bit about the cooling state is something that i just didn't get uh, from uh, from the whole thing um hawkeye increased the damage of all skills except the basic attacks by 4.8 percent in uh, pv this is a pretty pog uh, for hawkeyes uh, Scouter, who would have thought the class that we're getting in September, uh, increased the damage of all skills except for basic attacks by 4%. Gunslinger received several positive changes. Uh, the same goes with Summoner, increased in damage and also increase in the uh, innate energy uh, that can be acquired. Uh, we don't care about Summoner because we're getting it next year, January. <laughs> Please sooner uh, and uh, lastly we have the arcanist which received uh, also several positive changes uh, by increasing damage and also um, above to the emperor uh, class engraving um, right uh, anything else besides the arcanist no uh, this was the last class so these were sort of uh, all of the classes in today's batch of uh, uh, class restructuring changes i'm going to link you this article in the description below in case you want to browse it through to for the exact changes and i'm really hoping that we're going to also get uh, these exciting changes in august to make august uh, a little bit fancier a little bit more exciting for uh, for the players as well something to look forward at least to uh, you know some of the classes uh, that are currently available in game until my next video or live stream i wish you guys a fantastic day have fun in lost ark and uh, i'm going to see you really soon Take care.